I yeah. haven't seen that one. Yeah, it's back when um, the Taliban were the good guys that we were rooting for, and America was arming them. So they what's could the take on the Russians? What's like that movie that that had that like plaque at the end that was like this movie is dedicated to the brave freedom fighters of the Mujahideen? Rambo three, maybe four. Rambo, Kyle's that sounds know right. This. Kyle, yeah, I think you're talking about uh, the brave Mujahideen, uh, and that was Rambo three. They later changed it to the gallant people of Afghanistan because uh, that's more politically correct at post nine eleven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They that went back cool. and edit, edited Rambo three post nine eleven. That's why. Yeah. Just the just the post um, post film like little text drop, you know, on the screen. It, it used to say thanks to the brave Mujahideen or something like that. Because I and I'm guessing I never thought about it, but maybe there's some fucking Mujahideen fighters in fucking Rambo three because there are those big scenes of everyone riding the horses and camels and shit. Um, that's not a good movie. Yeah. They should have went with something day. safer. These guys were heroes for taking on Russia. You know, the they, they dared go against a superior force with nothing but bravery. And then they and did it to stingers. us. Bravery and stingers supplied by the CIA. Yeah. Man. <laughs> <laughs> and brand new Toyota Tacomas. <laughs> <laughs> man, these guys love Tacomas. Compliments of chronic Toyota. Come on by today. Like, like, I wish someone would do that. <laughs> Look at that. There was some I, there was some article I was I was looking at. This was a while ago, like during like when the Taliban, you know, you know, breaking free and conquering the country was all over the news. It was like there was a guy who owned like a painting company in Michigan. And it was like Joe's, you know, good time painting. And like, you know how they have on the side of the truck, it says Joe's painting and then his number and like just a little logo of a house with like paint on it. And this guy was like watching the news, apparently, and his old truck drives by as part of a Taliban procession and you can still see like Joe's painting company <laughs> and he's like the, the fuck <laughs> how did my old truck get to Afghanistan <laughs> just some guy some guy with an AK right in the back of the truck it is it, it, that's yeah. what we should take away from this <laughs> that Toyota Tacoma's high quality vehicles <laughs> they there, really are there should be a picture of like like a like Osama there like it says like terrorist choice <laughs> they should have like I don't know, life size paper cutouts in the showroom. Yeah, he's in the showroom <laughs> standing next to it. It could be dead Osama though, with like yeah. bullet holes and <laughs> the Taliban summer sales event. And <laughs> but anyway. I'm glad that'll never be on the news again. Oh, it will eventually. Everything I haven't heard anything since they took over. Seems like it's going okay. No, then it's probably done forever. Yeah. No. Wait, what are we talking about? The Taliban. about? the Taliban not being in the news. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure that they're happy and prosperous now. They're like lifting weights well, in bad form, having a blast. <laughs> to, the gallant, to the gallant people of Afghanistan. There you are. I'm glad yeah. they are once again under the ruling themselves, as they should have. As I mean, should. the bad shit happens all over the world. Just in some places, we make it our problem. Yeah, I saw you a really good Key and Peele speech. <laughs> There's a Key and Peele uh, uh, episode where like they're both playing like local tribesmen talking to like a white American, and they're walking and, and and they're like, "We are very sick," and he's like, "Yeah, it's terrible. We are very poor. Yeah, I hate it. We are hungry." And he's like, "Yeah, that that's the worst. We have oil. You do oil. <laughs> Operation Golden Freedom is a go." <laughs> like, you look up and the sky is suddenly filled with like every American aircraft imaginable. <laughs> and he's like, "We have natural gas as well." <laughs> pretty, pretty on the nose yeah i'm sure you know anytime one of those little african countries decides to like massacre 30 percent of their fucking population in the most horrific way imaginable because the tutus don't like the moos or something then we don't really have much to say about that but like you know if something's happening over in the the oil rich regions of the world i guess we do and there's nothing wrong with that i don't think because they don't have shit for us in Africa. What, who do we? Why do we care? Like, if they, maybe if they cut us in on that that diamond stuff, right? Could and we, I think the diamond stuff is like De Beers, like sitting on piles and piles of diamonds and only releasing little bits, right? Yeah, it's, it's it literally a monopoly. Inflated. Yeah, it's literally the definition of a monopoly. Uh, they, 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 if they released all the diamonds that they have already mined and cut, then diamonds would be worth what fucking nothing, like, like very little. <laughs> <laughs>